by a country mile, by far the greatest communication skill that you can look to cultivate if you wanna keep moving forward in your career. It's all about clarity and all about simplicity. How many times have we all been on a call or in a conversation with someone and they're just talking uh, absolute jargon and technical language and you get off the call and you're like, I don't know what the bloody hell this guy or girl is even talking about. We had a 30 minute call, I actually couldn't understand what they were saying. I've got no idea what they mean. I'm gonna to have to set up a separate call with someone who can decipher it for me and we can sort of get the, you know, the code breakers here to understand what this person was even trying to communicate. Because there's nothing more frustrating than being on a call and you're listening to someone speak and you're like, I've got no idea what they're saying. It's so frustrating. How am I supposed to have a conversation here? How are we supposed to keep moving this project forward if no one can understand what the bloody hell this person is talking about? And then on the other hand, I'm sure that you've been on a call, I know I have, with people who just do not know when to shut up on a call. Again, whether it's during a meeting and they just completely hijack the meeting and they keep talking and talking and talking and it's just verbal diarrhea. Or likewise, you're on a call, like a Teams call, and they're chatting away and they just do not stop and they um, cut people off during conversation. They start talking, they don't know when to stop talking. And because obviously during Teams or on a Zoom call, it's so hard to interject into conversation because you know one person's speaking and cuts off the other person, then you're like, well, who's speaking? Like, we need to figure out how to have some governance in this conversation, which is super basic and really should be quite simple for everyone to be able to do effectively. But it is one of those things that we do deal with people who are not great communicators. So the best thing that you can do is become a great communicator and you can lead by example. The best way to do that is to keep it simple, to keep it really, really clear. Now, the first thing you wanna do here is that you always wanna consider your audience. When you're putting together a piece of communication, whether it's a presentation or going into a new meeting or some sort of pitch or just even really conversation with people in the business that you're working in, you always wanna consider your audience. What are they thinking? Are they gonna understand what I'm talking about? Are they gonna understand if I use these kinds of words? What do I need to explain? What kind of metaphors or similes do I need to use to equate what I'm doing with what they're doing to make it real and relatable for that kind of person? And the more that you can put your mind in the mind of the other person and really try to be empathetic about who they are and what their values are, what their objectives are, what their concerns are, and also use the conversation to try and bring some of those, or so gather some of that data during the conversation, the better your communication is gonna be. And it's a skill that you will evolve over time to build that awareness of trying to really put yourself in someone else's shoes to think about, all right, cool, what's really important to this person and how do I communicate to this person in the most effective way possible? And one of the easiest ways to put people off during communication and lose the effectiveness of your message is to use too much complicated jargon and complicated messaging and also throw too many ideas at once and speak too quickly. You always wanna have a clear, concise, patient, measured approach to how you talk with someone and don't just bounce off a thousand ideas at once. You wanna have a structured conversation to make sure you cover off all the important topics in a structured way. Don't just throw your ideas all out there, move through the conversation, get feedback as you go and make it a conversation because essentially a conversation is with two people. A conversation is not one person talking at someone. So you need to make sure that during the conversation you're assessing their cues, you're asking for feedback, you're gathering their thoughts and making sure that the person you're talking to is actually engaged in the conversation because that's gonna go a long way and making your communication more effective, which is what you're trying to do in the first place. But it is another really key skill to be able to take the complex in your day-to-day -day role and make it simple. Right. So whether you're kicking off a new project, whether you're a senior leader speaking to your team about a merger or an acquisition or a new project or some sort of business update, you wanna meet people where they are and you wanna take the complex and you wanna make it simple. And in many cases, things that are complex can be made simple in some way. I'm sure that if I was having a conversation with Elon Musk, he would be able to communicate to me things about uh, space travel and about rockets and about physics that would be relatable. I'm sure he's a great communicator. I'm sure he'd be able to distill the key principles down in a way that would be makes sense for me. Whereas if I'm talking to some academic person at a university, I'm sure they can hit me with jargon about Plato or probably not Plato, but like Isaac Newton and you know black holes and all this sort of stuff. I'm like, I don't understand any of this stuff. I don't have any frame of reference 
You're using words that I don't even understand what they mean or what they relate to. And being able to relate what you currently know and your current life experience to new things is one of the easiest ways to learn. So you wanna be able to relate and make connections. Learning is all about making connections and communicating with people. It's all about connecting with people. So you wanna have a structured communication, make sure the structure is logical, and that you don't just throw a million ideas out, but you always wanna make sure you're keeping it simple. Keep it really clear. Don't dumb it down and don't be condescending to the people that you're addressing and communicating with, but meet them at their level. Ask for feedback. If things aren't clear, try and make them clear because it's gonna hold you back in your career. It's gonna hold your projects back if you cannot effectively communicate with people and get buy-in from other teams that don't understand your day-to-day -day role, who don't live in your projects, who don't have the same problems and objectives that you do, but you need to get buy-in from these people if you wanna branch out and make your projects more successful. And the way to do it is to communicate with them in a way that makes sense to them. So keep it clear, keep it simple, keep it structured, keep it logical, ask for feedback and make sure you engage people. And if you, you know, think that this is something you need to really improve, talk to other people in the business around you and ask for feedback. Feedback is a gift. So find people that you trust in the business, find some other people who are really good communicators that you admire in the business that you like and that you trust, ask for feedback, get their thoughts because that direct feedback is usually not gonna be given to you unless you ask for it, right? So get out there, build those right connections, become a great communicator, keep it simple, and I guarantee you'll go a long way. I'm Will Vaughn from Your Career Mastery. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that subscribe button. More videos coming out each and every week to make you a more successful professional, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.